this is another uh, video uh, on node voltage method as part of the uh, fundamental of electrical circuits and in this particular case um, we have in this special case we have a voltage source the 10 volt source between two nodes so let's go ahead and take a look at this and see how, how our process uh, of applying KVA, KCL to these uh, to analyze the circuit will change. So we're going to go through the process as we've always done. Find all the essential nodes, and as you look at this thing, you realize there's three essential nodes. One is going to be called V reference, and another one we're going to call V1, and another one we're going to call V2. Now, um, since since this voltage source sits between these two nodes and there is no resistor in the way we are unable to figure out what the current is that flow to that branch right now uh, this one is a little bit different because it's got a resistor we can figure out what's the voltage here what's the voltage here and eventually we're going to find out what's the voltage across the resistor divided by resistor and find the current. So that's just something we've been doing and we can do no problem. Uh, this is the one that's the special case we are talking about here as part of this video. In this particular case, you know, we're, gonna, we're gonna follow our process, but unfortunately, since we don't know what this is, when we go to write KCL at the node V1, and we're trying to write this equation, since we don't have this current, we can't do it. So what happens is that there is a concept in analyzing these, they call super node. So what that means is that we're gonna literally treat this whole piece as one node. We can do that, and then based on case CL, all the currents leaving that node must add up to zero. So this, this idea, this is called a super node. This is the V1 and V2 super node. So we can do a KCL for V1, but we can do a KCL for V1, V2 super node, okay? So, so how does that work? Well, uh, same as before, we'll find out what is the current through the 8K, and just like before, it was gonna be basically V1 minus zero, divided by 8,000 plus, then here, this is a little bit more involved, but we've done it, we know how to do it. We know the voltage here, because this is zero, and we step up from minus to plus is step up five volt. So we know this point is five volt, we know that point is V1. So this is simply gonna be V1 minus five, and the resistor is 4,000, there we got it. Now, since we are treating it as a super node, we don't have to worry about this branch, which is a good thing because we don't know what the current through this is. So we're gonna go take a look at this one, which is gonna be V2 minus zero over 2000 plus V2 minus zero over 1000 for the last branch, and all that is zero. That's great, we were able to write the KCL for this, now we got a problem, and the problem is we have v1 and v2 as the variables but we only two variables but we only have one equation we need another equation but luckily the super node equation exists what does that mean well if you look at this we know that v1 v2 only have a 10 volt source plus minus that means v1 is 10 volts bigger than v2 because whatever v1 v2 was 10 volt was added to get to V1 because that 10 volt is in series with V1. So we simply can say that V1 minus V2 is equal to, the difference between those is just that voltage source, which is 10 volt. We are done. The rest is basically cleaning this up and either manually or putting it in your calculator to solve it and find V1 and V2 and you're done. So this is, um, again, a special case uh, in a previous video, we had a case if the voltage mm, was mm. too um, referenced, that would be really easy. We would know the voltage, and that was the previous case. Sometimes it's called gift, special case gift, because you solve your one equation, you don't have to solve. 
in this case we had the voltage between two non-reference nodes and then we had to come up with this idea of a super node kind of hide this branch inside the super node so we don't have to deal with it and we'll deal with it when we go to write the super node equation so so you write a kcl for the super node and then you write the super node equation and that brings us to the end of this special case